up the steps the steps rock show we've got caleb from nerd halen thank you so much for coming by oh we're on we're on we'll do it live that was fast yeah, that was i try you know that's what she said <laughs> okay okay so wait do you wear the glasses all the time or just for nerd halen uh yeah i have to wear the glasses oh the so i can't they're for vision they're for well. vision i have some cooler uh not so nerdy glasses but uh I don't know. Uh, I can't wear a contact. I can't put any. I can't even like I, I have to like roll drops in my eyes. It's a phobia. So I can't put. I contact. do, too. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's I, no, I wear glasses. Um, no contact. Far away stuff. No, but I, no. I can't do contacts. No. I like the tape you guys put in the center of them, though. That's yeah. Cool. I mean, I wish I could say that's original, but it's not. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it's the universal nerd symbol feel comfortable holding it on. i know you look you look cooler too i dig it so let's do that okay back on so were you guys all super van halen fans when you guys created the band uh well um i think everybody in the band is a is a van halen fan for sure uh i i'm a super van halen fan for for 40 years 40 plus years so wow uh it was uh i don't like to brag but it was all my idea nice so, uh i basically had to find these guys i infiltrated the ultimate jam night at the whiskey a go go uh on the sunset strip and um to find my players i was told to you know go go hang out at the jams and you'll find people to play with because when i came up with this i really wasn't in any scene uh i'd never really had a band before so um you know i've played guitar uh, my whole life basically since the age of 12 13 and was never really able to get anything going and uh but it was directly res uh inspired by eddie van halen I, I met him when i was 13 years old and it had nothing to do with van halen it was like uh it was at a one day at a time taping so Wow, His that's wife. really cool. I didn't know yeah. it was even that deep, you know, and that you've kind of waited. This is your purpose in life, and you found it. <laughs> well, I mean, after that meeting, uh, which was incredible, it was like a three-hour hang uh, with Eddie and Alex. Um, I was tremendously inspired uh, and went and listened to the records closer and uh, realized that, you know, there was a reason he was considered – you know, the, the best and, uh, and it was his feel and his tone and, and not so much the pyrotechnics, just the way he, uh, did what he did on the guitar. And I, and I wanted to do that. So I spent, uh, all of my teens in my room, uh, trying to get that feel. And, uh, it really didn't, uh, make me into my own player but i i did get to uh sound a lot like him and uh that was the goal for some reason i had no idea i had no uh <laughs> long view on how that would kind of you know hinder me professionally so you know i got into other things acting modeling stupid stuff and then uh, i find myself you know in my late 40s wanting to play guitar and do what i thought i did best and and then I had, you know, an idea and had to follow through finally and, uh, you know, found, found Victor and found Jeff and then Hal joined and, and we had a thing and it's been a lot of fun having a, a really good time and, uh, you know, tributing my hero and, and, uh, you know, keeping people smiling, brought a comedy element to the whole thing. Yeah, I love a comedy element. I love a band. You know, I've been still Panther fans for a while, but you guys yeah. are musically talented with Van Halen, but also you guys are doing the jumps and the tricks on stage. How do you stay, you know, in physical shape to be jumping around like that? That's a great question because every, <laughs> you know, you, uh, in fact, speaking of Steel Panther, uh, uh, Michael Starr, Ralph, uh, Told huge me Van Halen fan. Huge. It told yeah. me recently uh, that you only have so many jumps in you. Oh my god! So that's that because yeah. he's 
getting use them right. wisely. Yeah. He's in great shape. He's a hiker, but yeah. I'm, you know, around the same age as you guys. And I do not jump and flip and do the things I used to do. I head banged in Hollywood on Saturday night and my neck still hurts from head banging. So. Oh, just any kind of physical thing. <laughs> it's going to, it's going to rear its ugly head. So, uh, but yeah, uh, uh, Al's very, uh, physical, uh, he's a martial artist. So it's very limber can do those splits you know we're we're in our mid 50s now and uh we're actually three days apart in age and uh uh you know i i got maybe four or five good eddie you know flying eddie jumps in me per show so yeah uh, you might as well jump and then uh, not break anything though not yeah. yet land i think yes we, yeah we call it landing Jump and land. So you guys were just at Whiskey, and now you're headed to Tahoe. Where are you guys playing in Tahoe? Well, first we're playing in uh, Jackpot, Nevada uh, this weekend. We play two shows on the on Friday and Saturday night at the uh, Cactus Pete's uh, Resort. Nice. And that's uh, Jackpot is the northern, uh, northeastern part of the state in the middle of freaking nowhere. But it's where uh, all of southern Idaho goes to gamble. So if you're in Southern Idaho, uh, come to check us out at Cactus Pete's, the gala showroom this Friday and Saturday night. Um, and then, uh, the following weekend we'll be up in Tahoe at the Crystal Bay Casino, uh, on Friday night, the 12th. So way cool. Yeah. I, I stopped to pee at Cactus Jack's on the way to Montana one time. Cactus so. Jack's or Cactus What was it? Cactus Pete's. Yeah. yeah whatever. Was it was like neat. I was, I go through Idaho to get to my grandma's and um, I peed there like years ago. So it was, uh, it was a cool looking. Place. I think there's a plaque there. <laughs> uh, can remember, remember that. that I peed. Steph that would be legit. Here. I I would love that. Um, okay. I wanted to do a Van Halen, like pop quiz, like ask you some questions. Oh, good. Is that okay. Yeah. That's okay. A, let's see where I'm at. Okay. Could Eddie Van Halen read sheet music? Uh, No. Correct. I didn't know that. Like I learned stuff from looking no, this up. He cheated. It. He cheated. Yeah. He, he did all memorization and ear. All and, by uh, ear. Like I that's just like magic. He won contest. He won piano contests just by memorization and ear. And wow. yeah, when he was like, you know, eight years old, nine years old. He's a prodigy. Yeah. Yeah. He's savant. He's insane. Um, who were the two consistent Van Halen members? The brothers. Alex and Eddie. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I, a little bit of change. You know what? I feel like everyone goes through like a tour with a hired gun or like all those, you know, all these bands too are incestual. I found out in LA, they would borrow somebody's drummer or borrow someone's guitar player for a little bit. It's amazing um, how, how many uh, people sit in here and there because of, you know, priors and all that stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, in fact, we're using uh, this weekend, uh, we're using Sean McNabb the uh, professional side side man he, he goes by melvin calculus when no i've work. interviewed sean yeah he was with quiet riot when i interviewed he's, him in la he's played with everybody and uh he's the coolest coolest guy in the so business. nice so yeah such a sweetheart he's helping us out this weekend oh my gosh that's crazy i gotta look him up because i it's been forever years and he actually even came to my apartment i had this cool rooftop and whoa Hollywood. hey sean married no 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 for the interview <laughs> for the interview for the interview i promise and it was so neat though and it was like a pool and it was overlooking the hills and so i was like the background's so neat and not everyone could do that right and i got it but he was one that was like oh i'll come to the rooftop and it was a really i, I gotta look that up now you're reminded me this was like 20 years ago but i will look that up okay last van yeah. halen quiz oh that's version. it Okay. Well, I, We're short I, got, here. Okay. I wrote down three. I don't know. Go ahead. Okay. What rock star produced the band's first demo tape? Gene Simmons. I What the? Like, yeah. I learned so much from looking this up. How did, oh, yeah. were Gene Simmons and, and Eddie buddies? Like. No, Gene, Gene uh, heard about this band playing the local club scene in Los Angeles and Hollywood. And he went down and saw them and right away uh, offered to sign them and take them under his wing. He took them to New York city to record a demo. And then he tried to shop it for them. And, and, uh, it, the, I don't know this, the real story I think is that, uh, the other members of kiss 
uh, did not want, and the, their manager, Bill Coin, uh, did not want Gene focused on this little side thing he was doing with this band. Yeah. That was very dangerous, and, and they knew it. So um, the, uh, Gene uh, let them out of the deal and said, uh, go, f- go find your future. I tried. And uh, yeah, but that that demo is out there on the internet, and uh, yeah, Gene was the first one to really uh, take a shot on them. So, dude, that's cool. He had he saw good music, he recognized it, and was like, "I'm on it." He also used Eddie and Alex to to write a few songs uh, with uh, for Kiss. Uh, what? Christine sixteen is a uh, is a Van Halen composition. That, uh, no way. Yeah, I'm like you're the encyclopedia for Van Halen. Ah, you really that. are. Yeah. You, I could like ask you anything. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Well, thank you so much, Caleb, for taking time out of your day and stopping by the podcast and giving us some Van Halen trivia. And everyone, check out Nerd Halen because yeah. it is really funny, unique, clever. And I will tag you guys on all the fun stuff. Thanks so much, Steph. Yeah, you're welcome. Have a good rest of your day. And I got to see you guys live one of these days. I know I'm running around two jobs and the kids but i tahoe uh, the 12th i know on the 12th oh i'm gonna be in monterey for the motocross championship the kids are into dirt bikes and stuff so i have to go wherever the bikes go wherever the kids want you to yeah. go they own go. me so i would love to see you guys uh when i you know am not being pulled by my agents we'll figure over it there. out <laughs> definitely all right take care dude okay thank you bye